Hello guys. As you all know, Hugging Face is one of the most important platform that are that is available right now because you will be able to find out various state of art models which will be helpful for solving various AI use cases. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about two important things, right, which you definitely need to know if you are really getting into this data science industry, right? One, how you can call any open source model from the Hugging Face Hub itself. Uh, and the other thing is that uh, since Microsoft has announced a new model, which is called as Phi3 Vision, which is a kind of a multi-model, wherein if you give any kind of images, you'll be able to get information from that image itself. So I will be discussing about both of these points and understand one thing as a developer, you definitely need to know how you can call any open source model. What is the generic way of doing that? So yes, uh, in this video, I'll be discussing about this. So let's go ahead and enjoy this specific video and please make sure that you watch this video till the end. So guys, now, first of all, let's understand what this Phi3 vision is all about. So this is exactly a multi-model. You can probably see it is a 4.2 parameter, uh, 4.2 billion parameter multi-model with language and vision capabilities that basically mean it works both with images and text. And uh, you'll also be able to see over here, Phi3 Vision is the first multi-model in the Phi3 family. Already Phi3 from Microsoft has been launched. There were different variants of model. But those were like LLM, they were specifically working with text data, but this is the first time they have actually brought up Phi3 Vision, bringing together text and images and the ability to reason over real world images and extract reason from uh, over text from images. It has also been optimized for charts and diagram understanding and it can be used to generate insights and answer any question. Phi3 Vision builds on language capabilities of the Phi3 Mini, continue pack strong languages and image reasoning quality in a small model. Okay, so like if this is a graph, it will be able to generate insights. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. And for this particular video, uh, already in, uh, uh, you can probably say that uh, if I probably consider from my code, right? Phi3 Vision 128K Instruct model is already there. So I will just go and search for this particular model. And uh, Microsoft has already basically bought uh, it already has this specific model so we are going to use this model over here and it is available in hugging face uh, again with the help of hugging face libraries how you can access this model what are libraries we really need to import so here you can see some of the important libraries that we specifically require all these libraries will be using in order to execute this particular code okay uh, again this is a very generic video to call any open source model what all things you really need to refer what is the kind of libraries that you require so i will be installing this then what should be your image prompt so basically your text prompt your input image prompt and which all libraries we can specifically use like auto model for casual lm and auto processor to call this specific model okay so let's see one by one and uh, if I'm uploading this particular video for Phi3 Vision, which is an open source, you can apply it for anyone like Llama, Llama 3, whatever things you specifically require. You can probably go and search for Llama 3. You can get what all things are basically there with respect to the auto tokenizer, auto model for casual LLM. Otherwise, through pipeline, how you can actually call it. Everything is basically mentioned in the Hugging Face. So that is the reason Hugging Face is quite amazing. So first of all, we will go ahead and install Torch, Transformer, Accelerate and Bits and Bytes. So here also we, would, we were able to see all this particular model, right? And that is the same model we are downloading from here. So let's go ahead and download this. Uh, the next thing, obviously, if you want to really work with images, so we really need to install this library also, which is called as flash underscore attention. Okay. Now a generic way of calling the entire model. Now it shows already uh, requirement is already satisfied. Please make sure that when you are executing this code in your Google Colab, use a 100 uh, GPU Ampere 100 GPU because this is actually supported. Okay. Then <clears throat> you have from PIL from images. So here we are importing image so that we can read the image along with this. We are importing request and as said from the transformers, right? So see if I go ahead and try to use this model with the help of transformers. So here either through pipeline, we can actually import it or from auto model for casual LM, we can actually do it, right? So that is the reason we have imported from transformers import auto model for casual LM from transformer import auto processor. So here I'm going to give my model ID. I'm not doing anything as such. I'm just copying it from here. This Phi3 Vision 128K instruct. It is a lightweight state of art 
open multi model built upon data sets which include synthetic data and filtered publicly available websites with a high focus it comes with 128k context length in token it can support okay so we are going to use this so that we will be able to execute within this particular gpu itself in this google collab so here is my model id then we are using this auto model for casual lm and you can find out more information in hugging face what exactly this does this in turn calls the model id also which we are specifically giving over here so dot from pre-trained we are giving the model id device map is cuda then trust remote code true and torch data type is auto okay now whenever you use any open source model first of all how we are calling it from pre-trained right and the second thing is with respect to the processor so that is the reason we have imported auto processor this auto processor from pre-trained we are going to call the model id and this in short is generating the processor object over here and this processor object is responsible in encoding and decoding the image format that is required for this particular model okay then we are setting up various roles like we do in the chatbot right so first role user content we are giving the image so this is basically required the image format what is shown in the image is the default question from the user and by default we are saying hey assistant you need to add something like this the chart displays the percentage so the image that we are going to provide it is something related to a chart which uh, uh, where it defines the certain percentage of respondents who agree with various statements about their preparedness of meetings and so many information is there okay so this is just one example to talk about like how this model needs to behave and then finally the third question will be we are asking provide some insightful questions to spark the discussion we will see about the image how the image looks like so here is the image url and we are going to open it uh, by using request.get url okay so let's go ahead and execute this i have already executed the it will probably take a couple of minutes to execute this and download the entire model so finally if i go ahead and see see you can also do this the reason why i'm not including in this video how to download and all just execute this cell i will be giving you the entire code in the description of this particular video right so once i probably go ahead and see the image so here is my entire image and the image looks something like this i have all the information over here with respect to the image having clear and predefined goal for meetings no way to find the information i need to it so with certain percentage over here some things is there now what my phi 3 model needs to do phi 3 vision model needs to do it needs to probably read this particular image and based on the input that i've asked provide insightful questions to spark discussion it should provide me some kind of insightful questions okay so for do it <coughs> what i'm going to do i'm going to take this particular image now i'm going to use this pro processor the processor that i downloaded and then i'm going to basically use a tokenizer dot apply chat template a specific chat template i'm going to apply and i'm going to set up my prompt the prompt you'll be able to see how it looks like so here i'm going to give my message my tokenize will be false add generation prompt is equal to true now i'm going to use the same processor use this particular prompt take my image and return all the image in the form of tensors right so in short this processor will be re responsible in encoding the entire image into some tensors or vectors okay and that will basically be happening in my gpu okay so once i probably execute the first thing i want to see my prompt my prompt looks something like this where it is showing user uh, new line image one so that is by default coming from this apply chat template okay so default what is shown in the image that is the question the chart displays this this information is there and finally the user question is basically set up provide insightful questions to spark discussion so all this information that we have actually given right this is basically formed in the form of in the form of a template right so this will basically become my prompt now if you want to also see this inputs after the processing happens you'll be able to see that i will be getting in the form of tensors right so this is what is my entire images looking in the form of tensors right again i will be doing the prediction for this with respect to phi 3 vision by taking up this particular prompt right and later on once i get the output i'm going to decode it to finally get my output right so here now let's go ahead and see uh, i am going to probably also set up some arguments like how many new tokens maximum new tokens with respect to the information i need to have 500 words temperature is 0, 0 0.0 and we're keeping this do underscore sample is equal to false now finally we are going to use this model dot generate take our inputs our eos end of sentence token id will be set to the default token id that is present inside the processor and finally this all arguments we are going to provide in the form of key value pairs 
Next, what we are going to do is that we are going to remove the input tokens. So in order to remove the input tokens, I will be just using this generate underscore IDs from this particular colon till the input ID dot save dot one. I will be taking all the information. And finally, I'm going to use this particular batch dot batch uh, processor dot batch underscore decode and decode all the inputs that I'm going to get in the form of vectors. Okay. And finally, you'll be able to see once I probably click on the response and here is my entire response that i will be getting from this particular model okay so here you can see five questions what are the most significant barriers so it is basically coming from the entire image so this is the format that you should basically follow and this it's not like i took much time to explore all i had to do is that probably go ahead and follow this right each and everything is given over here how should my input image look like? You can probably see assistant user, how sh it should look like, right? It was given over here. Then the entire code, image open, everything, generate IDs, remove input token, and print response, right? More examples you can probably see over here. So that is how you start explore multiple open source models and how that is how you can probably learn things, right? Tomorrow, only the thing that you really required is a good system configuration so that you'll be able to execute it. So that is the reason I'm using Google Colab. If you have a paid Google Colab account, that will be more amazing and beneficial. So I hope uh, you are able to understand these two points. Now, this is completely generic. Any model ID you'll be able to take, go ahead and take it. Let's say that I am going to search for Llama 3, okay? So let's say I'm going to use Llama 3 from Meta, right? So here also the same information is basically given, see? So this is how I have to call the model through pipeline. If I don't want to use pipeline through another ways, every other way is basically given over here. So if I go ahead and the top and say, hey, use this model with the help of transformer, this is my entire model code. So here also I'm using auto model, auto tokenizer. If you want to read more documentation, go over here and read about it with respect to this, right? Llama, Llama 2, Llama 3, whatever things you specifically want, right? And then based on this, you'll be able to set up each and everything, how you have to set the transformer pipeline and all, everything is given over here. And that is how you start exploring all these things and start implementing it. So I hope you like this particular video. This was it for my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.